so delighted to hear about your big 80th. We love you. I want to thank you so much for all the great years that we've been together, that you started out my career, really. You jumpstarted my career when I was in high school. I'll never forget, you recommended me to Disneyland. They were looking for musicians. You and Bob Edmondson really were so wonderful to all of us. Anyway, have a great birthday. We love you. Aloha. Hey, thanks a lot for this t-shirt. It's an extra large, but I think it's gotten a little too tight for me, so maybe an, a, a double X next time. Hey, Ali, thanks a lot for letting me play in your uh, Sunday band back in Hawaii over at Harvey Ragsdale House. And of course, you remember when Harvey used to be out in the pool and we were really in his uh, patio. And uh, when we took a break, his great Dane would start running around and flicking his big tail and hitting us in our private parts. So those are some good times. And, uh, you know, I remember Ira also was back in that band playing with us too. So, hey, thanks a lot for all those great memories of playing with you and being inspired and being encouraged by you. Hey, Ali, happy 80th birthday, and I'm so glad that I'll be able to be there with you to celebrate it with you. Aloha! Hey, Ali, it's Walter. I just wanted to wish you a really great 80th, and uh, sorry I can't be there with you, and uh, I hope you get the band together and play for your birthday. Hey, Ollie, happy birthday. I know if you'd known you were going to live this long, you would have taken better care of yourself. We miss you. Come on back and visit. Happy birthday. Yo, know, Ollie, happy birthday. Uh, hopefully, you'll be coming over there uh, in about two months. So I'll give you a buzz. And uh, have a great one, man. How many is it now? 80. 80? Oh, shit. <laughs> Bye, Ollie. <laughs> hey, Ollie, happy birthday. Have a good one, buddy. Hey Ollie, it's Dominic Genova, wishing you a happy 80th birthday. Hope you're doing great in Hawaii. Hey Ollie, it's Bob McChesney. Happy 80th birthday. I wanted to thank you for all the great years with the band we had out here, and uh, there's a lot of great memories. And hope you're doing great. Hope to see you again soon. Yo Ollie, happy birthday, man. I want to be just like you when I grow up, and I hope that's never. Um, Boy, it goes back a long time, man. Back um, before the big band that we played in the in the lighthouse, I was probably 15, and uh, out of the blue, I get a call to play in a little band with John Mitchell and um, Richmond was a drummer. I can't remember his name. I don't remember who else was in the band. I had to go out and buy a tenor saxophone. My mom used to drive me to the rehearsals, and that was like the first band that, other than me just you know screwing around with guys in high school playing. Uh, that was the first experience, and then you formed the big band. That big band was like the, the farm band. That was that was like uh, the, the Dodgers bullpen. The, that was you laid all the all the right shit on us. You, you took a bunch of uh, young lions and, and you taught us what it was like. And, and here we are at Fox doing a Family Guy, and that's in part because of, of what you laid on us when we were when we were younger. I can never thank you enough for that. That was uh, just such an experience. You probably don't remember, but many years after the, the big band, we were doing a date at Cherokee, I think maybe for Tommy Oliver. And you were on the date, and a bunch of us from the band, and I looked around, and there were six people from that band on the date. Um, I think John Rosenberg, uh, Stu Blumberg, myself, I don't remember who else. And I went up to you to break, and I said, Ollie, I said, you've got to really be proud, because you were in large part responsible for us getting our shit together. Um, 
and it was it was invaluable. And I've always I've always had you in my head. You also laid another great line on us once. I also never forgot. You said no matter how big bad of a gig you're at, you got a front row seat to life. And boy, on, on some turkey gigs, I thought about that, and I just sit there and dig everything and dig what's going on. Anyway, and if slide, if you're around, yo, happy birthday, Ollie. Later. Hey, Ollie, and happy 80th birthday. You know, uh, you're like an old wine, man. You get better and better the older you get. I never forget uh, all your all your uh, influence that you had on me as a, as a trumpet player and a musician, man. You were just terrific, and uh, you just put the right thing on it, man, the right light of all this whole business. And I'm so happy for you, man, to have an 80th birthday. You're a special friend of mine. I don't see you very often, but you're always in my heart, man. Best to you, Ollie. Yeah, Ollie, this is Gary again. I, I wanted just to bring up a little memory of an incident when we went scuba diving in uh, Pearl Harbor. We went down 150 feet. We found a trumpet, trident trumpet shell, very rare to find, deep diving and everything. And you remember we were over at Harvey Ragsdale earlier that day and he had that Great Dane dog that walked right in front of us. And the dog's tail hit you right in the scrotum. And we were standing there and you were like this on the floor. And I'm, and I'm looking down at you, Holly, what's wrong? The dog's tail. And we didn't think anything about it, and we went diving. And then when we came back, you were like grapefruits. And you went and saw the doctor, and the doctor said, whatever you do, don't fly and don't go diving. And we just came back from 150 foot dive. And I never forget going up in the room, and we had it on a, on a bag of ice with a Bacardi rum and pineapple drink. I'll never forget that. It was uh, one of our many, many experiences together. But uh, you survived it like a champ, and and, uh, and it was just ironic that the doctor said, "Don't do any diving." And we'd been 150 feet, like, like we were the world, you know, salvage divers. Or <laughs> Happy birthday, Ollie! All right, well, Ollie and Nancy. Thanks to Aaron, you got a chance to see a little bit of some of the guys here in Los Angeles. It's another rough day at the office over at Fox Studios. And for now, I gotta go home and take a nap. Aloha, bye bye. In that case, okay, take hey, one. Ali, happy birthday. They say the, the second 80 is much easier than the first 80, so you got a lot to look forward to. Have a good one. See you soon. Hey, Ollie. Great. You're having a birthday. I wish I could be there. Happy birthday for me and my family and everything. We really miss you being here, but, uh, you know, I know you're digging everything. And I was telling uh, my friend here about uh, you nailing me over at the studio over here at Santa Monica and Vine when we used to rehearse. I used to come late and every time from the beach, he took me aside and said, John, you got to make up your mind what you want to do. You know, you're going to play, you want to go to the beach. And that kind of did wake me up. That was one of many things that you taught me that I'm very grateful for. And I wish I could remember all the others, but they do come back. So happy birthday, Ollie. Miss you. Bye-bye. Okay. Hey, Ollie. How you doing, man? Hey, hope you're having a good birthday or will have one or did have one whenever you see this. And uh, we just had a band rehearsal here, and I'm playing a lot of those same notes that you play and have played for years. So um, I hope everything's well with you and you're enjoying life over there in Hawaii. And uh, come and visit us some more than you do, okay? Hey, best wishes to you. See you later. Aloha, Ali, and happy birthday. Uh, my best to Nancy, and Lisa sends her love to both of you. When Aaron called, I started thinking of the old days. Went all the way back when I was still in high school, and I first met you. You were teaching 
the Larry Ferguson School of Music, and I was studying there with Herbie Harper. And then uh, fast forward a few years, we got together on the Harry James Band and got to play with some great soloists like Willie Smith and Ray Sims and, of course, Harry. And I remember the time we went in for some reason to Harry's office and you told him that when he finished his yearly vacation at the racetrack that he needed to get the band back together and work it because it was sounding real good. And as a result of that, we wound up in Las Vegas in the lounge, first band to play the lounge there. And you opened up Las Vegas to big bands. Huh. And uh, let's see, after that we came back and we were in the pit at the Ivar Theater with Alan Ferguson and Vintage 60, then back to Vegas with Betty Hutton for 10 weeks. And uh, I remember the night in the lounge at the Sahara, we were in the main room at the Sahara and after work we were in the lounge there and Ray Anthony's small group was on stage with our buddy Bob Hardaway. You decided you wanted to throw an ice cube at Hardaway on stage. <laughs> and you missed and hit Ray Anthony on the cheek. <laughs> and uh, he took a dim view of that. <laughs> so we uh, made a quick exit before things got rough. And the next night we came back before work so you could uh, apologize to some of our friends there, the Mater D and those people, for causing a little bit of a row. But in fact, they thought it was the funniest thing they'd ever seen, and you were a big hero. Go figure. <laughs> so after that, we came back to L.A., and you uh, came up with the idea for, for Swing Incorporated. And we did that. We had those great bands, all those great kids, and of course the teaching and the Mitchell on trumpet, Mitchell School of Brass, uh, the Mitchell on trumpet, you know, is your dad's great trumpet method. And during that time, of course, the studio work, but also those uh, those bands that we led the section in, the Dick Grove Band, the Alan Ferguson Bands, and luckily there's some recordings of that. And then finally, the very first Tijuana Brass concert. Remember, we walked into the band room and you said, well, let's see, this is a Latin band, we'll drink tequila. And we <laughs> did. And if you recall, we did two shows that night, the first, the first one, uh, we opened for Dave Brubeck, and after the first show, they asked Herb if he would please close the second show. And I think at least a little bit had that something to do with the tequila. So anyway, it was all great fun and a lot of great music, and uh, again, I wish you happy birthday. Keep doing what you're doing. Aloha. Hey, Ali. Remember me? We've both gotten older a little bit, but... We're still around, still hanging in there. Happy birthday to you. I think of you often, and all the gigs we used to do, not only live gigs, but I mean, so many of the recordings that we did that are now paying off for the first time, or time again. And uh, we were very, very fortunate to be in that era of music. And I remember also the uh, time I subbed for you on the Harry James Band in, in Las Vegas, which was a big thrill for me. I don't know whether it was for you, but it was for me. And uh, all this time that we spent with the Swing Incorporated and, and all the kids that came out of there that are, have gone on to be so successful now. And uh, you did an awful lot of good stuff there. <laughs> and also, Ali, regards to you from Dick Hurwitz, my brother-in-law, if you remember. He's not doing too well. Uh, he's got a cane and all that, but uh, he's still hopping around. They're going to Capri uh, in June. And uh, anyway, I'm sure he's going to wish you happy birthday as well. So have a good time. Don't get too far out. And... Uh, one of these days we'll see you. Talk to you later. Hey Ollie, it's Herb. Herb Alfred. Um, want to wish you a happy 80th birthday. Um, we've known each other for many, many years and uh, you are in my top 10 of 
wonderful people, man. You're a wonderful human being, and I've always enjoyed talking to you, being with you, and uh, I wish you only the best, and hope you have many, many, many more years of uh, of health and uh, happiness. You deserve it, man. You're a wonderful man. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Take one. Hey, Ollie. How you doing, man? God, I wish we could be there. Happy birthday. I know, I know you're doing great, and I know everybody that loves you is there, and everybody who loves you who can't be there is trying to send their love, and I've always loved you. You've been so just amazingly special in my life and so supportive and always giving of your time and your talent and your energy, and uh, Aaron called me and said, hey, he's going to do a video of a bunch of guys who can't make it over there. And I've got a little gig here. I'm supposed to play Happy Birthday for you. So here's my love to you and to Nancy and everybody there. And here we go. Huh? <laughs> Happy birthday, man, and many more. God, I still remember how nice you were to me when I first came out here and Fran was pregnant. And you got us a baby carriage and a bassinet. I'll never forget that. And I still work with guys that love you, man. Uh, Gary Grant, Chuck Finley, and Pete Chrislieb. We always ask about you. Hope you're well and uh, everything is fine. And maybe next time you come into town, you can give me a call. And yeah, Ollie, get ready, man. You and I will go back into the Moulin Rouge when it opens. Yo. Ali Mitchell, how you doing? Good to see you. Remember this? <laughs> About 5,000 times. Everything is doing, everything is good, coming along well. And uh, I just have to practice more. I'm going to make uh, some more dates. It's a little bit harder now than it was before, but it's great to talk to you, Holly. Happy birthday. I beat you by about six months, you know. Take care. Yo, I'm in Hawaii, Ollie, in Sherman Oaks. Hi, Ollie, this is Gary Herbig. Wishing you a happy uh, Happy birthday from Sherman Oaks, California. I can't thank you enough for all the kindness you showed me. And uh, being your neighbor in Venice for all those years was really a, a thrill. And you taught me the, the secret back ways to Motown. We did recording sessions together. And uh, all my fun times with you in Hawaii. I'll never forget it, Ollie. When I grew up, your picture was on my band folders. Ollie Mitchell. West Coast recording artist. Then I got to meet you and you became such a wonderful mentor and, and uh, to me. So I, I appreciate that. Happy birthday, man. <laughs> squeaking in the beginning because you used to say that a record without a clam is a clam in itself. It's a human element. Happy birthday. I love you, Wally. Bye-bye. Happy, Happy birthday, Wally, from, from L.A. Hi, Wally. This is Beulah. I'm one of
wanted to wish you a happy birthday, and I hope you can celebrate another 80 or 100 birthdays, and I hope to see you soon. Sorry I couldn't make it, but I'm sure you're going to have a great time. Take care. And now I want to say one thing I learned from you is to find a good woman like Nancy, I got this one here. So I'm glad I'm going to be over there to help celebrate your 80th birthday. Yeah. Have a great one. Okay, happy birthday. <laughs> Ollie, <laughs> happy birthday. We love you. Congratulations on your big 80th. Aaron is so great to come down here and videotape all of us. We want to thank you so much for helping us in our lives and our career. You gave me my first real gig at Disneyland when I was still in high school, and the rest was history, I guess. <laughs> still history. We love you. Have a great birthday. Aloha. And one more thing, Ali. Thanks so much for getting me into writing. That was some of the best advice I ever got from anybody. can make us think like you we're all here to say that we love you hey ollie here's a happy birthday to you a happy birthday to you a happy birthday to you